Hello guys from Ferrico Town, today I'm going to talk about the match between Daniel Medvedev and Yannick Sinner at the NITO ATP Finals of this year's in turn, the semi-final match. First of all, I'm going to do a chant. Ole, 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 Yannick Sinner. Yeah. Well, I just finished this chant, so I just wanted to, see, uh, to say what a match it was. I watched it all of it uh, until the, the very last point. The score was 6-3, 6-7. 6-1, a big win, a very big win for uh, Yannick Sinner as he reaches his the final at the NITO ATP Finals at his first ever attempt. That's really amazing. He pulled off a great, a great match. He was very solid. He served really well. It's true that in the second set, the level kind of descended from Yannick Sinner. Uh, Daniel Medvedev, I just wanted to say one positive thing about him is that he never gives up. He fights until the very last point. It's really... A characteristic that I admire uh, from the Russian, but coming back for, for uh, to Yannick Sinner, already the third match that he has a free setter against a top player like uh, Daniel Medvedev. Not only that, he improves his head-to-head -head record against the Russian to three to six. It's already the third victory in a row against uh, Daniel Medvedev. It was an opponent that he used to struggle with in the past, and now already the third win in a row. It's really impressive. He gave us Italians so many emotions, uh, so many um, great matches. I think this tournament will not be a tournament that we will forget uh, very easily. I mean, I was really amazed by how he played, how composed he is, how mature he is at his young age. And what can you say? Amazing performance, 6-1 uh, in the first set. And um, he didn't miss his match point. And mentally has grown so much. Uh, his variety improved a lot, as I said also in the previous videos. His game at the net is really incredible. I mean, guys, we waited 50 uh, plus years to have a champion like that, and it's the first Italian ever to reach to reach a final at the NITO ATP Finals. We'll see what will happen between Carlos Alcaraz and Djokovic, but I think Yannick Sinner could be already proud of the week that he has had, because he plays some exceptional tennis. He beats uh, the best players in the world. Let's see if he can do that extra step and even win the title. And the support from the Turin crowd was just out of this world. I mean, um, it's really unforgettable. It's really, I was there rooting for him and watching this match. And um, there are no words to describe him. It's no, he's no longer an next gen hope. He's really the present, the future of his game. And I hope he's going to win this this title. I, I really hope he, he's going to do it. I think he has a, an amazing support from the crowd. And uh, he should be really proud. Even if he loses, it will be a, a win. I hope it's going to be Carlos Alcaraz who will uh, get the win and reach the final. I really want to see a next-gen final. It's true. It's not going to be easy against Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic is really a good player. He's still dominating the game. And... Um, well, uh, what Yannick Sinner has done, beating him, beating Olga Rune, and now Daniel Medvedev, it's really, really impressive. And let's hope uh, we can really celebrate uh, tomorrow with, uh, with the title. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for listening. As always, if you like the channel, hesitate to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. And see you next time. Bye.